Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. Medicare is a term that refers to Canada's publicly funded health care system. Instead of having a single national plan, we have 13 provincial and territorial health care insurance plans. Under this system all Canadian residents have reasonable access to medically necessary hospital and physician services without paying out of pocket. Medically necessary services are not defined in the Canada Health Act. The provincial and territorial health care insurance plans consult with their respective physician colleges or groups. Together they decide which services are medically necessary for health care insurance purposes. If a service is considered medically necessary the full cost must be covered by the public health care insurance plan. The provincial and territorial plans must provide all residents reasonable access to medically necessary services. Access must be based on medical need and not the ability to pay. In general, primary health care delivers first contact health care services coordinates patients' health care services to support continuity of care, which means receiving high-quality care from diagnosis to recovery, and ease of movement across the health care system when more specialized services are needed from specialists or in hospitals. The major things that are not covered by Alberta Health Care are non-medically required surgery such as cosmetic procedures, vasectomy reversal, abdominoplasty, tummy tuck, medical advice with a patient by telephone, unless otherwise stated in the schedule of medical benefits or schedule of oral and maxillofacial surgery benefits, health services provided by health care providers other than physicians such as chiropractor, acupuncturist, massage therapist, homeopath, nutritionist, psychologist, physician assistant or nurse practitioner, vision care such as routine eye exams for residents 19 to 64 years of age, refractive laser eye surgery, eyeglasses and contact lenses, routine dental care and dentures, prescription drugs provided in non-hospital settings as well as most prescriptions, vaccinations for travel purposes and some immunizations, health services requested by a third party such as medicals for employment, insurance or sports, assisted reproductive technologies, including fertility treatments and in vitro fertilization, medical forms and notes, clinical psychologist services, private and semi-private hospital rooms unless medically necessary, ambulance services except inter-facility transfers, anesthetic charges for services not covered, procedures that are experimental or undergoing clinical trials, hearing aids, medical and surgical appliances, prosthetics, supplies, and mobility devices, and publicly funded services. You have to either pay these out of pocket or through a private health insurance plan or a separate agency but only if you are eligible for assistance. Being free health care nurses and doctors treat you poorly. Walk in clinics and hospitals take you but you still have long wait times. Ambulance and other medical expenses cost way too much. And you only get basic treatment. It is a shame that most of these listed are not covered. If chiropractors were covered, more people with back issues that cannot afford it can get proper help. If a psychologist would be covered, maybe there would be less angry people around since this can get expensive. Vaccinations for travel purposes should be covered because of all the contagious diseases that get spread from countries. Ambulance bills are expensive, especially if it is in a case where you have an emergency health problem or a bad car accident. You shouldn't have to pay for the ambulance bill since you are already having a bad time and forking out money for other expenses. Mobility devices should also be covered because if someone is needing one, they shouldn't have to get funds to pay for it.
The Canada Health Act is to ensure that all eligible residents of Canada have reasonable access to insured health services on a prepaid basis, without direct charges at the point of service for such services. The Health Act isn't a major act. In fact, it only has five principles and are common rules such as everyone should have access to public health care facilities. The facilities must be insured. Everyone is entitled to the same level of health care, and therefore, the act is only three pages long with only 23 rules. More methods must be put into place so we as individuals can receive better treatment. Wait times for emergencies are hours upon hours. The nurses and or doctors treat you like you are in a prison or in some instances treats everyone like they are having their first child, when in fact most people have been through the process before and knows what to do. I personally seen and heard nurses treating patients bad, as well as doctors not properly prescribing the right drugs for certain things. There is really nowhere you can report doctors or anyone in the medical field. There are feedback boxes but I doubt one complaint against someone isn't going to matter until there are several complaints. And not everyone knows or wants to give feedback into a feedback box. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.